Hello, my name is Michelle Wynn. Today I will be demonstrating the intradermal injection. The supplies I'll be using are gloves, syringe, medication valve, gauze, alcohol swabs, and my patient. I will begin by reviewing the physician orders um, with the six rights of medication administration. I will be ensuring that I have the right patient, the right drug, the right dose, the right route, the right time, and the right documentation. I will open the patient's chart in the EHR and verify the order in the MAR. I will review the order and it does look like I will need to do a dosage calculation. The doctor has ordered five tuberculin units intradermally, um, which is supplied in five units per 0 0.1 milliliters. So today's dose will be 0 0.1 milliliters. I will gather my supplies and proceed to my patient's room. I will knock before entering. I will close the door or curtain behind me to ensure patient privacy. I will sit my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. I will perform hand hygiene and proceed with my patient. Hello, sir. My name is Michelle. Today, I will be your nurse. Can I please verify your first and last name and your date of birth, please? Thank you for that information. So I have verified the information against two identifiers. I will use this opportunity to check my medication against the MAR again. Mr. Jones, do you have any known allergies, any medication, food, or environmental allergies? Okay, thank you. So today your doctor has ordered the Purify Protein Derivative, or PPD for short, more commonly known as the tuberculin skin test. So this will detect if you've been infected or exposed to the bacteria that causes tuberculosis. I will be injecting a small amount of the tuberculin fluid intradermally. So that means just underneath your skin. And um, we will monitor you for a reaction. We'll check within 48 to 72 hours. Um, and if you have a reaction, it doesn't necessarily mean that you, um, you have tuberculosis. It could just mean that you have a sensitivity to it, but further evaluation will be needed. So some of the common side effects is injection site pain, bruising, itching, and swelling. Some of the more adverse effects are hives, um, rash, fever, and difficulty breathing. Mr. Jones, if you experience any of that, it's important to notify us immediately, okay? Okay, and it is common to feel burning or stinging at the site during injection. Do you have any questions for me right now? Okay, so um, Mr. Jones, I am going to um, start preparing um, the injection. I'm going to use this opportunity to verify my medication for the last time, my third time. Okay, I will perform hand hygiene and put on clean gloves. Okay, I will clean the top of the medication valve. Okay, today I will be using um, the tuberculin safety syringe. This is a 1.0 um, syringe and it's a 25 gauge and um, five eight inch needle. So I will dispose of this. Okay, I will begin by um, um, getting putting 0 0.1 milliliters of air in here. Okay, I will remove my top. Hold this like a pencil. I will insert this into my medication valve. I will release the air. I will invert the medication valve and withdraw 0 0.1 milliliters.
Okay, and you just want to tap to make sure there's no air bubbles. I am going to do the um, swoop method to recap this. see one zero point one milliliters I'm gonna place this down for a moment I will move this out the way this can still be used but I'll move it out the way okay so um, I am about to assess my patient um, but when assessing um, the area that you want to use you want to um, use like three to four width um, anti-cubital space, and then a hand's width above the wrist. So this area right here would be the appropriate location, which is evidence right here with my patient. Um, so you will assess your patient. Um, you will check to make sure there's no lesions, no discoloration, um, and then you will palpate for tenderness. And it looks like this is an appropriate spot on Mr. Jones. Okay, Mr. Jones, thank you for giving me your permission to touch you and everything looks okay. Now, if this was not an appropriate spot, um, it can be done on either forearm, but if either forearm does not work, then you can also use the upper back area. So Mr. Jones, I am going to clean the area now because I'm ready to proceed with my injection, okay? Do you have any questions? Okay, so you will um, get your alcohol swab, dispose of that. Um, you will clean. Um, the, you'll be cleaning the site. You'll start in the center and then you will rotate circularly outward. Um, and you'll do this, it'll be like two inches. Then you will dispose of this. You will let the alcohol air dry. Okay, next you will grab your needle with your dominant hand. Um, with your non-dominant hand, you will apply it to the, to the patient's skin to stretch the area. Okay, so Mr. Jones, I am about to proceed, okay? I'm gonna remove the top of my needle. I'm gonna touch my patient's skin, and you wanna inject at um, a five to 15 degree angle. You wanna make sure that the bevel is up. Okay, okay, Mr. Jones, I'm about to inject it, okay? Okay, so you, you wanna um, advance the needle into the epidermis about um, three milli millimeters. And then you'll see, you'll see a small, um, you'll see it. Okay, then you wanna inject this slowly. Okay. And um, you will see like a, um, a little bulb or it looks like a mosquito bite. Now, when injecting, um, you should feel a little resistance. Um, if not, it may mean that you have went too deep and you would need to start again. Okay. Okay. So I want to remove slowly. Gently put the gauze on top of the injection site, um, release the safety cap on the needle, place the needle immediately in the sharps container. Mr. Jones, are you okay? Okay, I just wanna check. Um, okay, there's no blood, so there's no bandage that's needed. I will dispose of this. Okay. I will remove my gloves, perform hand hygiene. Mr. Jones, how are you feeling? 
Okay, do you have any questions for me? Are you in a comfortable position? Okay, I will be back to check on you, but I need to go and document this, okay?